we know that ash uh, in the atmosphere is a serious problem for aviation and the, is a classic case. Uh, the first uh, major case occurred in Indonesia in 1982 when a Boeing 747 plane was flying from Malaysia to Australia and they flew right through uh, the ash from a volcano in, or from Java in Indonesia. Uh, it shut down all engines of, of the jet. All four engines. All four engines. Bang, bang, bang. One after the other. The plane uh, started to rapidly. descend rapidly, just dropping like a rock. Uh, and uh, what had happened is that the ash had gotten into the engines. The ash melts in the engine and forms glass. And this glass chokes up all of the, all the nozzles and shuts down the, the flow of fuel. Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, when they were uh, uh, within about uh, 10,000 feet off the earth, off the earth's surface, they managed to start first one engine, then another one, and then finally all four engines were running just before they hit the ground. They, they got full power again and they made an emergency landing in, in Indonesia. And uh, uh, remarkably, they were able to land safely, even though the pilot couldn't see out the windscreen because it was all sandblasted by the ash. So that was the that was the incident where people really began to understand the danger of uh, aviation with respect to ash, and this uh, plane became known as the Flying Ashtray after that.